Hello everybody, this is Coach Pippich here with Dominate the 18 Goalkeeper in Soccer Training. Sporting my uh, club uh, outfit and colors today. I wanted to talk to you about a topic that's an important one for goalkeepers and that's getting up quick. So as a goalkeeper, there's going to be times where you need to make second and third saves. So it's important that you understand the proper techniques for getting up quick. So probably the most common way that keepers find themselves uh, in a position to make a second save is after a low dive. So the first way would be, we simply, I'll demonstrate to get the ground here. So we make a low save, whether it be two hands or one hand. One way to get up nice and quick is I kick my outer leg up, and this is the leg for protection and momentum of my dive. I kick my outer leg up, that will stand, and my other leg tucks in, okay? We wanna to try to avoid using hands here because as we're getting up, our hands need to be ready to make the save, okay? So it's okay to use a little bit of the bottom hand sometimes, but I wanna to try to use as much legs as possible. I'll demonstrate on the other side as well, okay? So I make a low save, I kick up with my outside leg, and this other leg tucks in, and my weight comes on this heel, okay? And then the ball of the foot, okay? So I make a diving save, kick up, and I'm here, bam! Okay? So again, the first way would be on your sides. The outer leg kicks out, it's used to step. You go from your heel to the ball of your foot, and then the inner leg tucks in. There's also what's called a Spanish roll. This is typically a good way of getting up for when you're going quickly from one side to another side. And what you do is you kick your legs out, and that helps you get up to the other side. So for example, I'm on the ground, I kick my legs out and up, and now I can get up nice and quick and go to the other side, okay? And again, I used minimal hand there to get up nice and quick. Coming from the other side, just to get a little bit of a different perspective, let's say I'm diving to my left, if I'm using the Spanish roll to get up, I kick my legs out, and that helps me get up to the other side. Again, I see I used a little bit of hands there, but not too much, okay? A lot of it comes from my legs and my lower body, okay? Now, some other positions keepers might find themselves in, and again, it could be a combination of some of these positions. Sometimes as a keeper, you might find yourself on your stomach. It's very rare, but sometimes we go for a high ball, we land awkwardly, whatever it may be. If you're on your stomach, okay, again, we're gonna use a little bit of hands. One leg tucks in, that helps me stand up nice and quick, body weight forward. Okay, so I use my right leg there. Maybe it's from your left side, but I use my right leg there to step up. I do the same to the other side. So one leg drives into my chest, I step, and now I'm set. Okay? So you could also be on your stomach. One leg tucks towards your chest, and you get pushed off that leg, and you step up quickly, set position, body weight forward. The last way could be on your back. Now again, it's very rare for keepers to be on their back, but it is possible. Again, sometimes we're going for a high ball, we get knocked backwards, and of course, we wanna to try to avoid that as much as possible by either catching it clean or getting a nice clearance with a punch or some other type of clearance, okay? But let's say we're on our back. Well, if we're on our back, sometimes I might be falling back already. So if I'm falling back already, that's when this kicking legs up thing might be helpful. So for example, let's say I go for a high ball and I wanna to try to avoid this. So I go up, a big striker, he connects with me, I fall back. So I'm falling back, keep my legs up, bam! And see how I kinda of push my legs forward and now I'm in a really good set position, okay? Now again, you might not have those acrobatics, but I'll show you one more time. And again, just to clarify, we don't wanna be in this position, but sometimes the keeper, you might find yourself. So let's say I go up, I get knocked and I have to fall back, pick my legs up, bam, set position. Up and out, that helps me get momentum forward. Okay? And if you can't do that one, it's some core work. If you can't do that one, it's okay a little bit if you turn to the side, but then you wanna use that technique we actually did on your side. So if you wanna turn a little bit to one side, Come up here, tuck one leg in, like in this case my right leg in, other leg steps. So I just turn a little bit to this side, one leg tucks in, other leg steps. So I'm here, 
Turn it. Stop. And notice that I'm square. Because sometimes when keepers are getting up quick, their chest and their body isn't square to the shot. And if it's not square to the shot, our likelihood of making a save goes way down. And again, for all these techniques getting up, it's okay to use a little bit of bottom hand, but we don't want to use too much hands because again, we want to get in a position we're able to make a good save using our body or our hands. If our hands are on the ground, we can't utilize those to make the save. Hopefully, hopefully those tips were helpful for you. Again, this is Bob Pippich with Dominate the 18, goalkeeper in soccer training, and we'll see you on the pitch soon.